Are you ready, sir? Sure. My name is Jesse George. I'm a citizen of Cherokee Nation, and I serve as New Orleans Policy Director for the Alliance for Affordable Energy. Moreover, I'm a lifelong resident of South Louisiana. I turn 40 next month. I offer these comments today in opposition to the Louisiana Department of Natural Resources application for permitting primacy for Class 6 carbon waste injection wells. I'm not here to assail you with facts and figures about how carbon capture is a fossil fuel scam that has a track record of failure, or about how similar injection wells under the authority of LDNR have swallowed entire communities such as Bayou Corn, or about the hundreds of abandoned and leaky oil and gas wells under its authority, or about how carbon dioxide is a corrosive asphyxiant that will be piped at extreme pressures through sensitive wetlands and low-income neighborhoods. You'll hear from many other folks over the next three days who can speak to all of those things much more expertly than I can. I'm not here to deliver facts and figures because I do not believe that those facts and figures will be determinative in this process. I think that the conclusion has already been reached uh, as we heard at the beginning of this hearing. Rather, I'm here to deliver a message to those who would turn Louisiana into a dumping ground. You are not welcome and your efforts here will not be worth your while. There is a groundswell of folks in Louisiana who are prepared to challenge every page of permit and, uh, and, and, uh, and oppose every foot of pipeline to prevent further degradation by the same petrochemical companies that have turned our state into an ever-eroding cesspool. The Biden administration has made an environmental justice a major talking point, but at nearly every turn has betrayed environmental justice communities from the Arctic to Appalachia to the Gulf Coast. The White House Environmental Justice Advisory Council has rejected carbon capture as incompatible with environmental justice. Yet EPA Administrator Michael Regan sent a letter to state governors dated December 9th, 2022, encouraging states to seek permitting primacy for Class 6 wells. We know from past experience with oil and gas wells and pipelines where these projects will be cited in low-income communities, black communities, and indigenous communities. And I can guarantee you none of the folks here speaking in support today are volunteering their own neighborhoods for the siting of these projects. Environmental justice must be more than campaign rhetoric, and public hearings such as this must be more than a procedural box to check. Now is the EPA's opportunity to reveal its true commitment to environmental justice principles.